Whenever I'd wake up and check my phone, it was usually to see if I received any texts from people in general. Now though, it's to see if I've been messaged from Natsuki. I think it's interesting how things change over time. Indeed they are. She didn't message me this morning, by the way. Which is fair, seeing as I didn't message her this morning either. Although it's not like she's obligated to message me in the first place. But it's still nice to do. I don't think she's messaged me this whole weekend, actually. Regardless, since the weekend is over now, and there's school today, I'm heading off there. And we just skip the whole school day. <laughs> Eventually, I arrive at the literature club. I expect to see the same sight as usual, but it's a bit different this time, as Natsuki is nowhere to be seen. Hmm. S oh. <clears throat> Curious and slightly worried, I ask the other members if they know anything. So, Monica, do you know where Natsuki is? I don't think so. Anything you need? No, it's nothing. Nothing you can provide for me. <laughs> okay, no. It wasn't actually nothing, of course. Have you seen Natsuki Sayori? Nope. I thought you'd know where she was after all. Well, what happened a few days ago? I sigh. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Guess that leaves Yuri. Although I don't expect to get anything from her. Yuri, have you seen Natsuki anywhere? I don't believe so. And that was that. Oh. Annoyed, I walk away only to notice Natsuki walking in. There you are. Natsuki, I almost thought you weren't going to be here today. I need some time to myself. Uh, I see. Should we read some manga now? No. Um, this music. Why am I hearing it again? <laughs> Natsuki dismisses me and sits in a corner. Uh, now what? Natsuki. I turn and see Monica walking over to Natsuki. What's up? You're not usually late. I already said I needed some time to myself. I decide to go over as well. Okay, that's probably a bad idea, though. Don't forget, I'm always here if you need to talk. Yes, I know. You don't need to repeat it. I... Okay. What happened? Yesterday went so well. Was it yesterday? I'm... I'm confused. Whatever. Sure, there's a lot I don't know about, but for Natsuki to be this on the edge, or this on edge... Hey, Natsuki! I turn again and see Sayori this time. Oh no, please don't snap at Sayori. She's nice. How are... I'm sitting in this corner for a reason. I thought it made it... I thought... It made it obvious I don't want to be around anyone. Okay, I almost thought just... I thought I made it obvious. Okay, well, that works too. I don't mean this in a rude way, Natsuki. But if you don't want to be around anyone, what made you come here today? That is logical. I mean... You're not exactly obligated to be here, it's not like you're taking this for credit. You guys would have came looking for me if I didn't show up. Okay, also logical. She's not entirely wrong, I suppose. I certainly would have looked for her. I spent the rest of the day not really doing anything. I didn't even have the, des the desire to talk with Sayori. I would gotten so used to spending time with Natsuki that I didn't think much about what would happen if that stopped. The past week, 
She wasn't nearly as enthusiastic, yeah, but at least she was there. We still read manga together. So what now? Our friendship isn't just going to end like this, right? Especially after we expressed our feelings for each other. And that would be pretty terrible. The only idea I have for now is to do what I've always done, and stay by her side. I can give her some space, but I still want to be there for her. That may be going against her wishes, but I can't sit and do nothing. I'll never give up on her. And that is the sign of loyalty. And so it was another day. School felt like it dragged on forever, and getting to go to the literature club didn't make up for this make up for it at this point. I was inside the room, as Natsuki was here on time today, still sitting in a corner. I go up to ask her a, I go up to her and ask her a question. Are you feeling any better today? No, and I'd like you to stop asking me, okay? Alright. I walk away and sigh, unsure of what the future would hold. You didn't make her mad, did you? I noticed Sayori from the corner of my eye. How dare you, Daniel? Don't pin this on me, I didn't do anything. It's not like that, I swear. At least, I don't think it is. You don't think? I mean, if she's not going to tell me, then I'll never know, right? I don't think that's entirely true. What have you been doing in the past few days? Nothing, I mean, I thought I took her out on a nice dinner date, and... Was it that awful? Nothing that would make her mad. I took her out to a restaurant two days ago, and she seemed to enjoy it. We both did. So there is something going on between you two. I knew it! Sayori, that's not the point. Besides, it's not like... Hmm? I see Natsuki get up and come over to me and Sayori. Uh-oh. Natsuki, what are you gonna do? You two were talking about me, huh? Yeah, we were talking about how cute and grumpy you are all the time. Okay, no. You weren't eavesdropping, were you? To be fair, I guess we are in the same room as each other. Yeah, it's not like we're far apart, we're like probably two feet away from each other. Okay, more than that. <laughs> Seriously, Daniel, just go away. Wow. Just wow. It'll be easier that way. I don't get it anymore. I just don't get it. Over the next week, Sayori and I tried coming up with ways to break through Natsuki. Or break through to Natsuki. Unfortunately, each plan failed worse than the last. I remember her first attempt. I thought my plan to get her to open up was decent enough, but I guess not. Well, what was your first attempt? I don't know if you forgot, but go away. That's all I'm asking. It's not hard. <laughs> then we tried the next day. This time went even worse. How many times do I have to say it? Leave. Get out. Leave. 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 Still don't get it yet? Later that day, I tried calling Natsuki's phone, but the call ended after one ring. So, just completely denied the call. When that happens, it usually means that your f the phone you're calling ran out of battery, or it can also mean... Yeah, it can also mean that she just declined the call. She couldn't have blocked me, right? Okay, I didn't think of that one. I hadn't texted her earlier or anything. So if she did, 
It would have been something she did on her own. Maybe the third time would be the charm at the end of all this. But it wasn't. But we kept trying. We had to, after all. Or at least, I had to. And so, another day was another attempt. Are you dumb? How many times are you going to try this? It's not happening. But what's not happening? Why don't you tell me? But there was a, sil a sliver of hope in my heart that I could still win. Just one more day. I'm getting really sick of doing this, you know. No matter how long it may take, I was determined. Just one more day. Can't you respect my one wish? What if I died or something and you had to deal with the fact that you didn't follow my one simple wish and there was no way to make it up to me anymore? Okay, that's very oddly specific there. How would you feel? How would that feel, huh? I... Natsuki, perhaps you'd like to take... You'd like a few days off from the club? If there is something bothering one of my club members, I want to make sure that... Screw off, Monica! Well, pff, Don't lash out at Monica. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm still kind of afraid of her, but she doesn't deserve that. But I had to do it. I had to... Daniel, stop. Huh? What, were you hurt? Were you... Ah, were you hearing my internal monologue? There's something you're not telling me about you and Natsuki. She's been rude to everyone, but the most towards you. I'm here to help too, you know, but I need to know everything to do that. It's like I said, I've got no idea how I could have made her mad. I keep telling myself that, but what if I did do something to make her mad? What if I did it all along, voluntarily, but couldn't figure out what it was? No, it doesn't matter. Even if it is all my fault, I promise to make it up to Natsuki. I'd suggest stop a pop or ugh, my tongue stuck. My tongue stopped working again. I'd suggest apologizing to her, but somehow I don't think that'll make much of a difference at this point, huh? It'd be way too late for that. But what then? We've tried everything we can think of. Literally, everything. I don't know, but the least I can do is try and comfort her. Hey Natsuki, could you come over here? Natsuki rolls her eyes and gets up. Look, if you're seriously going to try and... Natsuki's interrupted as Sayori hugs her. Surprise hug attack. Hugs make everyone feel better, right? Sayori said that, but I saw a look of deep anger on Natsuki's face. Yeah, that's... Sayori... I hope you... you better back off. This clearly isn't going to end well. Yeah, for her. I hate you! Okay, no. I wish I could just have... Can we get a professional to say this? Okay, no. Natsuki breaks out of Sayori's grasp. All of you, you don't get it, do you? Just leave me alone. It's the simplest thing ever. I'm sorry if none of you ever learned how to leave someone alone, but that's not my problem. I can't do this. I'm so sick of this. Of everything. Natsuki breaks into tears and runs out of the room. Natsuki! But it was too late. There's no chance of repairing anything now. Are you gonna give up like that, though? What do you mean there's no chance? It's over, and we ruined it. Okay, I guess maybe it is. I don't know. I ruined it. 
Sorry I broke the straw on the camel's back, but this was ultimately my mess. Well then. I don't clearly remember what happened after that. I think I laid down at a desk in the club. Monica and Yuri kept trying to ask what was what that was all about, but I didn't feel like responding. I didn't feel like talking at all. I fell asleep for a few hours after that, until I was woken up by Sayori. <laughs> nice sepia tone. It's pretty late, Daniel. Even I'm not allowed to work on school projects at the library past this time. And I don't think they let you sleep like this. Sorry. No, it's fine. I'll get going. I yawn and sit there for a few more moments before getting up to check the time. 7 p.m. already? Dang, that is late. Well, in terms of school time. I go to a fast food place after leaving the school, knowing I wouldn't be in the mood to cook when I got home. I look like a mess after today, but it's not like I... <clears throat> it's not like I cared what others thought of me at this point. I couldn't stay there forever either. I couldn't stay anywhere forever, as much as I wanted and tried, which meant it was finally time to go home. Dang, I can barely even see. I walk on my way home until I'm in my neighborhood. I try going up to my house, only to see something I never expected. Oh, please don't be something bad. No, not something. Someone. Natsuki? Oh my goodness. What are you doing here? I messed up, Daniel. Natsuki, what's going on? I didn't expect to see this, especially not after everything that happened. Natsuki, sitting on my porch, how long has she been waiting here? I know you hate me now, but I need somewhere to stay. Tell me what happened, please. Of course, but not so This doesn't mean anything. Only until... Natsuki stops to think. It doesn't matter. Well, we can discuss that later. It's cold out here, yeah? Come inside. This is no time to imitate Waka. I open my front door, and we both walk into my living room. So I guess you'll be staying here for a while, then. As you'd probably expect, there's some stuff I need to explain. You're sleeping on the couch. Okay, well... Pff. We're not even married, and I'm already sleeping on the couch. And I don't even know what I did wrong. Okay, no. Now's not the time for that. Wait, what? I mean, yeah, sure. The couch is comfy enough anyway. Might as well not fight it. You know, otherwise you'll be sleeping outside. Then you'll be sleeping in my room, right? There's no other options, are there? Well, I don't know if the parents' room is an option. If they have a room. Where are the parents, anyway? Technically, she could be sleeping on the couch instead of making me do it, but I guess this is fine. Well, if you're a gentleman, or... something, then you shouldn't. Okay, so you'll be sleeping in my room then. Don't touch anything. Got it? Especially not my collection of anime figures. Okay, no. <laughs> Honestly, the stuff you've hid in your room would probably gross me out too much to make me want to look at it anyway. Hey, no, I'm not like that. I'll take that as a compliment. It's not one. I figured it wasn't. So don't be proud of that. I see. Awkward silence fills the room. I notice a nervous look shows up on Natsuki's on, on eyes. Almost as if she's wondering 
of how she's behaving is too rude even for her. I wonder if it's because of pent up emotion from whatever happened to her. Um, I'll see you tomorrow then. Right. Well, not unless she, like, leaves before you wake up. Natsuki heads outside for a moment to grab a suitcase she brought that was in the bushes. And I go to my room while I plop down on. Er, and then goes to my room while I plop down on the large couch in my living room. There weren't any blankets, but I was too exhausted to go get any. All I wanted for now was to sleep. Nothing more than some good, long rest. Is that the phone? Seeing as Natsuki has my alarm clock, I use my phone alarm to wake uh, up the next morning. Thankfully, I had found a place to charge it for the night. As soon as I do wake up today, I see Natsuki already cooking something. Natsuki, you're up already? Just because you sleep forever doesn't mean I do too. I suppose. What are you cooking? Scrambled eggs. That makes sense. I thought your specialty was baking, though. It is, but cooking is still an important skill. No, well, can't argue with that one. I usually eat processed food, though. Same with me, kind of. <laughs> oh, and I'm not making anything for you, by the way. It's your kitchen, so you can make it yourself. Damn, girl. Harsh, but not wrong. I was never an expert when it came to cooking, so I grab a bowl of cereal instead. By the time I'm ready, Natsuki is done making her food as well. Whereas I sit at the kitchen table, she sits on the couch in the living room instead, completely avoiding you, you at this point. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to eat at an actual kitchen table? I'm fine. Alright. She's not going to be this cold the whole time, is she? I certainly hope not. After we are done eating, we continue to sit. I don't know how well this would go, but I decide to get up and go to the couch and talk to Natsuki, and possibly have my head bitten off. In case you get bored, you can always read some of my manga. It's not the dirty kind. Sure. Well, I've got stuff to do. Later. Wait, what day is it? I get up and go into my room trying to figure out what I was actually going to do. I've got nothing when I think about it. Guess I'll watch some anime. A few hours pass and I feel numb from binge watching too many episodes. Before I can fall asleep in my chair, I hear Natsuki's voice. What? Where and how did you get this? Oh. I stretch my arms and turn around to see that Natsuki actually did come in to check my manga collection. Hey, I can explain. What are you talking about? Natsuki pulls out a volume of manga from my shelf. I'm talking about this, duh. Parfait Girls? I don't remember ever buying that. Sure you don't. It's not just any issue of Parfait Girls, though. It's a France-exclusive volume that only had 100 copies ever produced. Why do you own this? Because of the pretty pictures. Okay, no. That better not be why you own it. Yeah, I'd like to know that as well. I don't know. I probably got it at a garage sale bundled with a bunch of other manga since I don't do that kind of shopping sometimes. Since I do that kind of shopping sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. I wouldn't have cared about Parfait Girls at the time. So it's probably the only other manga I came with. 
I cared about. That's the only thing I can think of. But yeah, go ahead and read it if you want. How am I supposed to read it when it's in French? No parlez-vous français? Okay, that's a fair point. Well, my French isn't amazing, but I think I would be able to translate the manga. Want me to read it to you? Oh, we got an expert here. Natsuki looks nervous. I'll read something else. Really? If you insist. Maybe there is an opportunity for me to get her to open up this time. Not right this moment or anything, but, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Wait, was there school today? That sounds random to bring up, but... Crap. See? I was thinking about that. Well, too late now. I guess I'm playing hooky. <laughs> uh, student of the year, everybody. I tried watching a few more hours of anime, but there's a pit in my stomach that makes it hard for me to fully enjoy it. I know it's not good to let your worries get the best of you, but sometimes it's hard to shake it off, knowing everything that's been going on. It might be a bit earlier to do this, but I guess I'll try to get some sleep. Maybe some rest will help me feel a little better. Are you going to the couch or to the bed?